Hey guys, the objective with this video is to look at the derivation of the local stiffness matrix. We're going to be doing that by looking at Hooke's law, the elongation of a spring, and a free body diagram of a spring. So first up, Hooke's law. So hopefully you guys remember this from maybe one of your elementary physics courses, but very simply, Hooke's law says that the force is equal to the spring stiffness, which is K times by D, the displacement. So, very simply, force equals spring stiffness times any displacement of the spring. Okay, so that's Hooke's Law. That's what the stiffness matrix is actually fundamentally based on, is this thing called Hooke's Law. So, that's Hooke's Law. The next thing we need to look at is the elongation of a typical string. So, we're now looking at the elongation. So let's say we have a spring. I sort of think of this as a slinky, right? So let's say we have a slinky, and we, this slinky has a constant length, L. So the length of the spring, the springy is L. Okay, now, what we're going to do to this slinky is put a force in it, and it's free to move. So we're going to come, and we're going to put a force on this spring, and it's free to move. So the slinky will displace. It's going to move to here. The actual slinky length is going to elongate, so it's going to get longer, and it's going to go there. So this is our new, this is the underformed shape, the underformed, and this is the deformed shape of our slinky. Now, what you'll notice is that the length has increased, but also it is displaced this way. So this displacement is not actually the spring displacing. Let me rephrase that. It's not actually the spring extending.